Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Shekharin. If you are first time to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. Today, let us see what are the different review process processes are followed in the journals and what is the uh, what are the ma major differences among the different review process. We will see. First thing we will see, peer review. What is peer review? Peer review means actually uh, 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 it, the particular research paper will be sent to two to three reviewers. Review peer means in the same expert ca category and they will study the paper. Whatever the paper is given, submitted to the journal, they will read and they will give a comments and finally they will give their review comments. This is a peer review. In the again in the peer review there is uh, most of the journal they follow double blind peer review double blind peer review means first you need to know what is uh, peer, different between peer review and blind peer review see peer review generally most of the journal they follow only uh, blind review uh, the the reviewers may not know who has submitted the paper because they'll hide the identity of the author and even uh, and the similarly when they give the comments to the uh, authors also they will hide the editor's detail. This is a uh, blind review because they wanted to keep both party anonymous so that there won't be any subjective influence in evaluating, uh, reviewing the work. That is a, a point number one. So, blind review means the reviewers as well as the author, they would not know who is review reviewing, which paper they are reviewing, all those things will be kept confidential. That will be known to do only the editor of the journal. This is point number one. And two, and why is there any open review? There may be sometime certain journal they will ask two experts you need to suggest from your field field, and the journal will send you a paper to those experts. Uh, and they must be a really established personality in the field and they will review a paper. They need to accept you uh, to review a paper. You have to suggest these two names and you need to send to the journal and journal will send the paper to them. And it is not your friend, definitely they will verify all the details about their expertise and the other publication, accordingly they will uh, review the paper. This is, uh, this is point number two. And what is the editorial review? See, one is reviewers or what you call independent experts of the field, they are not getting paid. Please kindly make a note, most of the reviewers are doing the review process only because of their interest in the subject. They will not, they will never be paid most of the time, maybe one or two occasions they may get paid some journals, but 90 percent journal will not pay, it is a voluntary basis. That is why the reviewers, they will take their time, that is why sometimes it takes months together to, to get a review because they may be a, a very busy personality in the field, so they need a lot of time to review, though such kind of reviewers really they will read line by line, word by word. They will give a detailed comment for everything, so they will take, generally they take time and submit. So, once the review is done, it will be sent to the editor. Editor will uh, send back to the author in case if it is, uh, there are comments to change, accepted or not accepted, whatever the thing, he will send to the author. So, in the expert review, uh, based on the, in the expert review, they may know who, whose paper they are reviewing, that they will be knowing it, and but in the blind review, they will not know it. And editorial review means only the editor of a particular journal, uh, only will they will review the paper. But 99 percent editor alone will not take a decision, definitely will get an opinion from the reviewers. So, it will be sent to the reviewer based on their comments. There are three things can happen. One is immediate acceptance or immediate rejection or certain uh, re revisions required in the paper. Immediate acceptance is your paper is absolutely fantastic and everything is superb means they may accept immediately that will be in a quality journal it will be very rare. And immediate rejection it may be many, many times you will submit a paper which may not be uh, the uh, what you call in the scope of the journal then they may reject and your uh, poorly written paper and no proper research, research objective all those phenomenon they may, they may reject. Most of the cases, uh, it will be uh, given with the review comment for a minor revision and major revision. Minor revision means you have to do certain changes, they will indicate the changes required in the different parts of the paper. 
you have to work on those changes you have to they may they could have raised certain questions you have to answer that question then you have to submit and major revision means you have to overall uh, probably your core of the paper may be good but the overall written style or certain sampling and other thing you have to you need a major revision mean you have to if you agree you have to accept and again you have to rewrite and you have to change all those major revision then you have to submit so in this process only generally the reviews are happening let me quickly sum up one is blind review normally blind review and open review blind review the both uh, author as well as reviewers will be ke will be kept anonymous and open review the experts they may uh, they'll be uh, you will be suggesting and they'll review the paper and they'll send a comment to the journal editorial board but that review will be again it will be very uh, you can't just like that uh, name somebody to review paper no definitely they'll verify clearly then only they'll check and third thing and uh, it, it is called editorial review editor only review the paper and then he may decide whether to accept or not but normal quality journal process this will never happen only with the review comment only they'll do I hope this video will be really useful and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, bye from Professor Ashika.